For a long time, the idea that if the show were told from Negan's point of view, we would see him as a hero has been held by millions, even including actors from the show. I mean, it's interesting because I think that's there's a big debate there <laughs> with, you know, if this story had followed Negan from the beginning, we might think that he's the good guy. I'm here to discuss all of Negan's worst actions and break down the idea of Negan's morality and if Negan indeed would have been the hero. For the sake of this video, I am going to completely ignore Negan's redemption arc and just focus on his character while he was the show's big bad. Negan is one of the most complex and interesting characters The Walking Dead universe has ever seen, and looking just at who he is as a person isn't going to give us these answers. In a world like The Walking Dead, everybody has to do bad things to survive. Killing people doesn't even hold the same weight. However, the lineup still remains an interesting talking point. Negan chose to line people up and execute them, while leaving others to do his bidding for him. While the argument of self-defense definitely exists, we know he had done this to other groups, including the Hilltop, who did not attack him first. So I would say that it's immoral, even in this world, but if we were watching the show from his POV, maybe we would be able to take it as him positioning himself and his group to have the best chances of survival. So yes. His actions against the group, including his murders of Glenn and Abraham, are most definitely immoral and easily position him as The Walking Dead's big bad, but we saw Rick do similar things, although less flashy, and I find it a little hard to take this information alone and say that the viewers, including myself, would not view Negan as having good intentions if we were seeing the show through his eyes. Let's take a second to talk about the way he punished his people, using an iron on their faces to punish them for doing basically anything that Negan didn't directly agree with is more than a little harsh, but to a certain extent I can kind of see the argument that in an apocalyptic world you have to go to harsh extents to survive. However, having the context of Alexandrians trying to kill Rick and him forgiving and forgetting, as well as having people like Gabriel, Tara, and Dwight who'd made direct attacks to him and his people eventually become allies and even members of the group, would lead me to say this is an evil act from Negan that would still be viewed as, at best, immoral if we were watching from Negan's POV. A point people may discuss as a good sign for Negan being viewed as a hero is his hesitance and at points refusal to kill children. My issue with this argument is his murder of a 16 year old boy at the hilltop, as well as the fact that if it was not for Shiva stepping in, he very much would have killed Carl. I think that both of these are mischaracterizations of Negan and a mistake on the writer's part, but something I feel is necessary to address when talking about this point. Finally, the one point that truly makes me feel like viewers would still see Negan as the villain is him forcing women into being his wives, which is a form of rape even if Negan himself does not see it like that. From a viewer point of view, there is no way that if Rick forced people to marry him for protection, we would still be able to view him as the hero. These are my reasons why, despite being an amazing character and going through a great redemption arc, I think the idea that watching the show from Negan's POV would make him out to be the hero is just plain wrong. If you enjoyed this video and want to see even more videos about The Walking Dead, please subscribe. I'm just starting this channel and I'm still trying to figure out the type of content I want to make.